This is a uh, takoyaki. No, this is a um, ball of dough with um, octopus in it and uh, some special sauce and then some mayo. Mm. Huh. Ugh, so good. And it's really freaking hot. It's hot. Oh my god, what the f? <laughs> it's so hot. It's hot. No. Yeah, gotta go. Quick, 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 quick. How's the taste? <laughs> hot. Sci Games invited all of the NA and EU teams to join for the Shadowverse tournament called Rage this year. And it's one of the biggest events that happens in Japan and seeds directly into their World Grand Prix. So it's a really big deal that they're letting foreigners in for the first time. I'm here competing and uh, Gengar's here to support me. So overall, I can't compete, which kind of sucks, but um, it's still amazing that Sci Games and Echo Fox is allowing me to participate on this trip and come here and just to visit everything. So unfortunately, Gengar wasn't able to make it for this one. Uh, while we still can bring him, he wasn't old enough to play in the tournament. I'm pretty excited just to go somewhere else and just visit the entire Tokyo, Japan area. And yeah. We were lucky to uh, arrive in Japan during Golden Week, so it's like a lot of fun atmosphere. Everyone's on vacation. Uh, I'm excited. This has like been my dream town to like come here and visit and just like see how different it really is from the states and. It's amazing so far. So we got there a couple of days early so we could kind of relax, but we also wanted to see some of the sites and just kind of go around Japan. Uh, so we got to see a bunch of like temples inside there, which is really cool, kind of just see the culture in there. So going to the shrine, um, it was like in the middle of a forest. It was beautiful. Like so we got to do um, shrine praying and purification with water. Having Kier Mango explain all that to me was just like super mind blowing and why they do it and just like understanding more of the culture of Japan was just definitely more fun than I thought it would be. We went to Senjoji. It's the most like the busiest shrine there is in Tokyo. Golden week, everyone was there. It seemed like the biggest, like there were so many buildings and so many like people there just uh, burning incense, um, praying. We did these fortune things at one of the temples and where you just shake this box and then you draw a random stick and then you take out um, these fortunes that tell you if you have bad luck, good luck. And we both got bad luck. Unfortunately, I got a bad fortune. Hopefully it doesn't affect my tournament. Uh, bad fortune. Three women shouldn't be together as they talk too loudly. Uh, so we would go to Shibuya Crossing, like deep downtown Tokyo, super busy, a lot of people. Yeah, like crazy. After Shibuya, we went to Harajuku Park. You'll see a lot of uh, nice trees. Completely different than the rest of the city. Going into Japan, I wasn't really aware of just how large the cities were. And then when we got to Tokyo and we went up one of the towers in Tokyo, I was really blown away by just, it was just city as far as you could see, every direction all around you. I didn't know what Akihabara was uh, when I first got there, but just like, wow, it was packed with tourists, shops, and just like, I wanted to find so much, but I couldn't find it just because of how big it was. Ton of anime shops. Uh, of course, you know I like anime. Did a lot of shopping, a lot of sightseeing there. I think uh, Gengar was overwhelmed with how much stuff was there. At first, I didn't know what Akihabara was, but when I, when I got there, I was super excited just to shop around, seeing like what types of things they have and how unique every other product was. And it was made in Japan, of course, so it made it so much more valuable. So I, got, I had so much fun. Normally, when I play a tournament, it's probably at home, um, maybe in my pajama pants, but uh, here, we're like, how many thousands of miles away from home, like 13 hour difference, so it's, a, it's like a big change. Online, you do get to play against players from all around the world, and you do get to kind of get that practice, but the formats which they use in Japan is very different than that here in NA. In NA, we do a format here where we pick three decks, we bring that to the tournament, your opponent will ban one, and it's an open deck format. Whereas in Japan, they play with only two decks, and it's closed lists. It's kind of ridiculous compared to the size of the tournaments I've played uh, so far. Only about 10% is going to be able to make it until day two. That's like about 600 out of 6,000. So it's going to be a lot of tough battles, and I'm sure um, the Japanese players are going to be really, really strong. Uh, I'm hoping to make day two. I think it's going to be very difficult. 
I'm glad we were able to come with my uh, teammate Gengar. He was able to help me practice in the hotel for my Rage games. Hey Gengar, we gotta practice. Uh, tournament's tomorrow. You can't win. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's why you're so salty. That's not true at all. I, I oh. barely get salty when I play. Oh shit, it's almost out of battery. You should zoom in on him more. Oh, I got both of you. I'm going back and forth. Oh, that's smart. Good job. Sorry for telling you to do your job better. <laughs> that's all right. I welcome the feedback. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if I have the option to run that. You always, you don't need, you don't, uh, yeah, playing, you can't play around that card. Especially like with the hand you have, you have to use stealth to just win the game. So I just finished round two, I won 2-0. Uh, I was a little bit nervous going into it, but as I played, I kind of got used to it. So she seemed a little bit new. She picked decks that are maybe a little bit on lower in the tier list, um, but she played very well. It was a good game. It was a good game. Yeah, I was able to win with both my decks. Uh, yeah, round by round turn six, both games. Uh, they're, they're pretty quick games. Yeah. Hopefully more games like this uh, get to day two. <laughs> <laughs> you want it to be all easy? I, for, until day two, I know day two is going to be harder. Yeah, yeah, true. Uh, I just want to, I don't want to get stressed out in day one. Yeah. yeah. Easy. <laughs> you say that. A lot of the, a lot of the pro players over there are losing. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. so like there's, the there's, there's some sharks out there in the waters. As I expected, the Japanese players were really, really strong. Even stronger than I expected, actually. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to make day two. I kind of played into this situation where they know what I was going to play because everyone else is playing the same thing. Maybe I should have uh, tried to surprise them a little bit more. Maybe next time when I come to Rage, I'll come up with a different strategy. So he finished the day four and two, which left him one win away from being able to make it to the second day of Swiss. But I was also still really proud of him with the, the ability to go in there and to play this new format and still make it so close to how, uh, what he needed to do. This tournament I had a lot of fun. Like, uh, I didn't really know what to expect. Like the first few rounds I did really well and then the players kept on getting more like better and better. Yeah, I was like, oh wow, these guys are really, really good. And um, yeah, I had a lot of fun actually. And I felt like I learned a lot about uh, this format. So I kind of regret um, telling Mango to play how like he played at home because this is way different. The players played so much more differently than we do at home, and it was just the sh like the strategic planning that the Japanese did over like everyone was like massive. It was on a different scale. Six thousand people, six thousand ideas clashing, and this is not what we do at home. We always play this certain type of way, but in Japan, it's so all over the place. And if you don't adapt to it, you're just gonna lose. I wish Mango made it to the second day. That's all I have to say. Who calls that? Just like, wow. Our uh, teammate MPLA was also in Tokyo at the same time, so we were able to go visit his Smash tournament. A lot less people at the Smash tournament than the Shadowverse tournament, though. It's so crazy that me and MKLeo are here at the same time. It get, like, and getting to meet him is like awesome because I've been a fan of him from the, from the start when he was younger, and then now just seeing him like in the same place I am is crazy. I don't really play a lot of Smash, but uh, Gengar does, and he was able to play a few rounds against MKLeo, but he got totally bodied. I think he only got like one or two stocks off of him. It's kind of funny. <laughs> so Kimrango is absolutely right. I I've, I just got destroyed. There's nothing I could do against MKLeo. Like it. It was, he was, he played out, he's just insane, he's just insane. So overall, this trip was out of this world. This is, this blew my expectation. The food, the places, the sightseeing, the event itself, like all of it was just something that I dreamed of ever since I was young. And this is definitely the number one spot to go. If you can't tell, the city is like lively as hell, or damn it, I don't want to cuss. So here in Japan, it's so lively. Uh, everyone's going everywhere, it's so busy, the subway system was busy, like, it's just city noise that just makes, makes it so much more fun and enjoyable. I love so much uh, about uh, Tokyo, I love the food, the culture, the shopping, the, the anime, but 
I was really glad I was able to meet all my friends again. Um, I only get to see them when we go to Shadowverse tournaments since they're out from all over the world. I just want to thank Sci Games and NGE for being able to help make this trip all possible and be able to get the players out to Japan. It's really cool seeing all the opportunities they get to go through and get to do and I'm grateful to be able to go with them and the whole experience was really fun so hopefully there'll be more in the future. Me and Gingar and our manager, we had a terrific time in Japan. I'm super glad Echo Fox and Sci Games were able to send us out here and uh, hopefully you can come back to Japan in the future. Thank you Sci Games and thank you Echo Fox for this amazing trip and I hope to be back soon. この番組はご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りします。